Leo, the marvelous spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh, no. Is it okay? Hmm. When hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero, but that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. The Marvelous Spatule Tail. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, Dad lent me his Polaroid camera. Let me take a photo of you. <laughs> Ready? One, two, oh, what's that? A bee? <laughs> no, it looks like a small bird. Look, it has two very long things attached to its tail. How interesting. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, pretty bird. Katie, are you there? You won't believe what we found in the garden this time. Hi, Leo. Wow, that bird sure looks special. It also makes a buzzing sound. I thought it was a bee. How interesting. Let me see what I can find out about it. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find out about the bird? Hi, Leo. This special bird is called a marvelous spatula tail. A marvelous what? A marvelous spatula tail. See the two things on its tail? Those are long feathers that end in discs, or spatules. Only the male bird has those two long tails. Oh, I see. The marvelous spatula tail is a hummingbird. The buzzing sound you heard is the humming sound made by the fast movements of the wings. Normal birds flap their wings up and down. But hummingbirds turn their wings in circles. This allows them to hover in midair and fly left, right, up, down, backwards, and even upside down. Marvelous spatula tails are only found in the forest edges of northern Peru, a country in South America. Unfortunately, there aren't many of them left. That means we have to take this marvelous spatula tail home safely. Come and join us. Yeah, let's do that. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a marvelous spatula tail with you today. As you may know, the marvelous spatula tail is in danger of disappearing because their homes, the forests, are being cut down. To save this hummingbird, people have planted many trees and bushes in these parts to give the marvelous spatula tail a better home. That's why we're bringing it back here, Ranger Rocky. We found it dancing around a flower in our garden. Male marvelous spatula tails dance to attract females. They hop around on twigs and wave their long tails. Like other hummingbirds, the marvelous spatula tail flaps its wings up to 70 times per second. 
hummingbirds use up a lot of energy from flapping their wings, so they need to drink a lot of nectar from flowers. The marvelous spatula tail likes the flowers from the red flowered lily plant, so you might want to look for those. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here is a grassy area with some plants and bushes. And on this side is a place with many trees, shrubs and bushes that have bright flowers. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a grassy area with some plants and bushes. And over there is a place with many plants that have colorful flowers. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the place with many flowers because marvelous spatula tails drink nectar from flowers. Let's go! Hey, Leo. The marvelous spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh, no. Is it okay? Hmm. When hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero, but that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Christmas. 
Christmas party. Whatever he's planning, we've got to find him and stop him. Alligator, it's time to fly. so everyone could have their presents back. and 
color of snow. We heard the sound that a tree branch makes when it breaks. And we learned that sometimes helping your friends can be hard, but it's always worth it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Whee! Huh? Hey, everybody. Check out my new ride. Wow. A kick scooter. It looks cool. Isn't it dangerous, Tim? Nah, it's fun, Billy. I can travel super fast. Look at us go. Maybe you shouldn't play with the kick scooter indoors, Tim. Oops. <gasps> oh, no. Are you okay? We're good. Don't worry. Isn't it safer to put on some protective gear, Tim? Protective gear? Like a helmet and elbow and knee pads? No way. That's too troublesome to wear. Calc and I can ride just fine without them. Hey, Numbers, you want to go for a ride? One, two, three, four, five. Numbers, let's see how many of you can ride on the scooter with us. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! <gasps> oh dear. Ow. Is everyone all right? I'm okay. Look, Paula, they tripped over this rock. Oh, I didn't see it. Well, we did warn you, Tim. There's a carving of Mr. Totem Head on the rock. Oh, dear. Mr. Totemhead needs our help. Do you think Mr. Explorer caught him? Only one way to find out, Tim. Let's go to the jungle. Look, over there. It's Mr. Totemhead. Hi, Mr. Totemhead. Are you all right? We were worried that Mr. Explorer finally caught you. Hello, children. Actually, it's Buddy who's not all right. Buddy? What happened to him? I saw Buddy being chased by that Mr. Explorer, and poor Buddy ran into this tunnel to hide. He has not returned, and it's been hours. I'm very worried. Can you help me find Buddy? Of course we will, Mr. Totemhead. But where does this tunnel lead to? Splendid! A whole tribe of talking totem heads. This is my lucky day. Ugh. Mr. Explorer thinks we're all totem heads. He'll soon find out we're not. But he'll find out that I'm still a totem head, and then he'll catch me. Let's have some tea together. Please, don't run away. Mr. Totem Head is right. We can't let Mr. Explorer catch him. Quickly, let's go into the tunnel, everyone. Paula, it's so dark. Don't worry, Billy. I'm right beside you. Hello! Any talking totem heads here? Oh, no. Mr. Explorer followed us. We have to hurry. Come on, guys. Whoa. Oh. Tim, are you okay? Ah, oh, I think I scraped my knee. Good morning, class. Today, we're going to learn how to protect ourselves. Can you guess what protective gear is needed for the different activities? First is cycling. Helmet is right. Next is go-kart racing. Helmet is right again. Next is horseback riding. Helmet is correct. You're on a roll, Chalky. Next is skateboarding. Helmet is right. Next, skiing. Helmet is correct. And finally, swimming. Incorrect. You don't wear a helmet to swim, Chalky. <laughs> you need goggles to protect your eyes. But you have five points. You still win, Chalky. Congratulations. We're finally out of the tunnel. <gasps> oh, no! We let Mr.
Mr. Explorer to El Goldrado. He's coming. He'll find me. Who's coming? Buddy, you're a thief. Aha! There you are. Oh, hello, children. I thought you were totem heads. Silly old me. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Explorer. What, uh, what are you doing here? I've been tracking a blue totem head all day. One moment he was standing right in front of me, and the next moment he was gone. Have you children seen this blue totem head? A blue totem head? Oh, no, no. There are no blue totem heads here or of any other color. Ah, too bad. Well, in that case, I shall continue my search for El Goldrado. But... You're already in El Goldrado. And we hope you'll find El Goldrado soon, Mr. Explorer. You should go back into the tunnel. Ow! Oh, you're in pain, boy? How did that happen? Tim hurt his knee when we were going through the tunnel, Mr. Explorer. It was dark in the tunnel and I couldn't see, so I slipped and fell. Blimey! All of you did not take the proper safety measures. You must keep yourself safe, no matter what you do. How do we keep ourselves safe, Mr. Explorer? This is how to keep yourself safe. Step one, think about what you are going to do. Step two, find out what will keep you safe. Step three, wear it and use it. That's it. This is how to keep yourself safe. Okay, everybody, let's go through Mr. Explorer's steps to keep ourselves safe. Step one, think about what we're going to do. If we want to go back home, we might need to go back through the tunnel later. But it's dark and scary. That's why we have step two, Billy. Find out what'll keep us safe. Hmm, it's dark inside the tunnel, so we need some light. And because it's slippery, we need something to protect our head. And our knees. Oh, but we don't have any of that, Paula. Well, you are in luck. I think I have just enough protective gear for everybody. There. Step three. Wear it and use it. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Explorer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to continue my search for the talking totem heads and El Gordrado. Cheerio! That was close. I'm glad he didn't see us. And I'm so glad we found you, buddy. Yes, you found me. Now I need to find another place to hide from you. This protective gear is so cool. I almost feel bad Mr. Explorer won't find El Goldrado again. We found Buddy, and we learned how to keep ourselves safe, Paula. That's right, Billy. And we're ready to go home. Of the day. Five helmets! Five kick scooters! Dance with Cal! This time, I'm wearing all the protective gear to keep myself safe. Calc, if you want to join me, you know what to do, right? Tim, you're not going to ride inside again, are you? No worries, Paula. This time, we'll ride it outside. Huh? Why are you guys wearing your protective gear? Oh, we want to watch you ride outside. And we feel safer if we protect ourselves, because we think you're a bit dangerous on your kick scooter. Hey! <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure! Bye. Bye. Bye.
welcome back! Hey, Leo. The marvelous spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh, no. Is it okay? Hmm. When hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero, but that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. I think I have an idea. In some places, people put feeders in their garden and fill it with homemade nectar, so the hummingbirds always have food, even when there are no flowers around. We can use this bottle to make a feeder. Great idea, Katie. But how do you make nectar? Hello, Junior Rangers. The easiest way to make nectar is to dissolve some sugar in water. We have water, but where can we get sugar from? Here. Have some of my sugar. Uh, thanks, Ranger Rocky. We can cut this bottle in half and use the bottom half to put the nectar in. Great idea, Katie. I'll take care of that. You got to be careful with scissors. There. I'll leave the rest to you, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here is some sugar. Stir the water to dissolve the sugar. Here, Birdie, have some nectar. I hope it tastes good. It's working, Leo. It's drinking the nectar. That's great. But what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. To find the marvelous Spatchel Tail's home, just look for the red flowered lily, not for a spicy red chili or a goat acting silly, but look for the red flowered lily. I see. So, not for a spicy red chili or a goat acting silly, but, but look, look for, for the, the red, red flowered, flowered lily. lily. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the marvelous Spatula Tail's home, you have to look for the red flowered lily. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the red flowered lily. Are those red flowered lilies? No, those are blue flowers. Let's move on. Those are red, but. They are red fruit, not flowers. Better keep looking. Do you think that that is the red flowered lily? I think it is. We found the marvelous spatula tail's home. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. Go get some nectar, marvelous spatula tail. Look, it's a female marvelous spatula tail. He is doing his dance again. We did it. We found the home of the marvelous spatula tail. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a marvelous spatula tail in our garden. We learned that the marvelous spatula tail is a very special hummingbird and that its wings move really fast. So we took it back home where there are a lot of flowers to feed from. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>